What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and welcome back to another episode of Advanced Warfare Gun Guide. This is the series where we go through all the weapons in the game, breaking them down in three minutes or less for you guys, giving you guys only the most important stats, info, and recommended setups to help you improve your multiplayer game. So, in this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the IMR Assault Rifle. Now, uh, starting off here, Iron Sights. They're not awful. Sometimes I'll use the iron sights on this weapon, but typically I will use some sort of optical attachment, usually a red dot sight, just because if you don't do that, it kind of defeats the purpose of the weapon. This thing is super, super accurate, especially at long range. So if you're not going to be accurate, it's not going to be accurate, and it just doesn't make sense. So uh, you can use the iron sights if you want, but some sort of optical attachment is recommended. Now, next up, damage. It's actually pretty strong. Does 35 damage up close and then drops down to 24 damage at a distance, making it a 3 to 5 shot kill. Now the thing is, this thing shoots in 4 round bursts, and for most distances, it's a 4 shot kill. So you know, technically, for most distances, you will be able to kill in one burst, although that's highly, highly unlikely. It's hard to get all 4 shots to hit, so, so usually this thing is a 2 burst kill for most distances, and then drops down to 3 or 4 once you get into those longer ranges, so I uh, keep that in mind. Now, uh, next up as for fire rate it shoots at about 1440 rpm like each burst does so it shoots very very fast bursts but with the time in between the bursts factored in because there's like a delay time it shoots around 800 rpm which isn't quite as fast but that's still really really fast for an assault rifle like this thing it shoots extremely fast it does quite a bit of damage so you guys can tell it's pretty lethal it's a fun gun to use now as for recoil it's pretty much non-existent. Check this out right here. I mean, this is from like a, a you know medium to a little bit longer range, and there's almost no recoil. It's just a little circle there. Like it, it's just it's it's crazy how accurate this weapon is, and it's really really good at those medium to longer ranges. Now, uh, next up, as for the magazine size, this is where this thing is special. 36 rounds in a normal mag, 54 rounds if you've got extended mags on. But the deal is, it prints four rounds every five seconds until it reaches a max of 144 rounds in your reserve which is really cool you never really run out of ammo no need for scavenger it's a pretty unique trait about this weapon now a uh, next up as for the reload speed 2.73 seconds on a normal reload 2.3 seconds if you use the speed reload by double tap the reload button really not that big of a difference less than half a second so I, I don't really recommend using that uh, and then finally from American it's set up like I said typically I like some sort of optical attachment red dot side is good quick draw grip is great for those you know gun fights where you want to get the first shot and then silencer actually Actually doesn't negatively affect this weapon all that much it's still pretty powerful so that's not bad things I don't recommend you using foregrip because it's already accurate enough and laser sight because the hip fire is already so bad it's not gonna be helped by it so uh, yeah there you guys have it that my friends is the IMR hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and this uh, it's a good weapon it's not quite on the level of the AK-12 the HBR A3 or, or the BAL-27 but it's still usable, and you can still do pretty well with it. So I encourage you guys to check it out. Let me know which weapon you guys want to see next in the Advanced Warfare Gun Guide series. And I will catch you guys later. Check out these two videos if you haven't seen yet. Peace out.